Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are looking ahead to autumn or fall and checking out all of the changes and new additions we can expect to see during this brand new season. Now if you're excited for autumn be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you love Animal Crossing as much as me. Anyway, autumn is surprisingly busy season and I know your time is precious so let's jump into it. Number 1 Events Now autumn runs from September 1st through to November 25th and although it starts off slow on the event front we do have two events to look forward to including Halloween and Turkey Day. The Halloween event begins on October 1st when Jack reaches out announcing the event and distributes his portrait. Throughout the month of October it's possible to find spooky DIY recipes, purchase candy from Nooks and even purchase Halloween themed costumes from Able Sisters plus a bunch more activities. When October 31st finally comes around, Jack hosts the spooky celebration and it's possible to treat villagers with candy in return for several Halloween themed items, including some exclusive items only obtainable from Jack himself. The Turkey Day event takes place on November 24th and is the final day of autumn before the winter season creeps in. During Turkey Day, Franklin stops by the plaza and offers players the chance to gather ingredients to cook a variety of dishes. In return for cooking dishes, players earn exclusive Turkey Day furniture items as well as a DOI pack that contains all Turkey Day DOI recipes. Are you looking forward to taking part in Halloween or Turkey Day? Let us know in the comments. Number 2 Special Characters One of the special things about the autumn season is that Harv's Island sees a special guest for the duration of the season. Throughout the autumn, Kornheimer, who is supposedly Tortimer in an acorn costume, can be found in Tortimer's place. His features remain the same and gives players access to their storage, but he also gives away free acorns every single day which is nice. So definitely a highlight of the autumn season. Number 3 Seasonal Events Now throughout this quarter we can expect to see at least 6 seasonal events return to the game. The events we'll be able to celebrate include Grape Harvest Festival which distributes the Grape Harvest Basket, Moon Viewing Day and Chusok which distributes the Dango, Mooncakes, Moon Rug and Song Pion, Day of the Dead which distributes the Marigold Decoration, the Lantern Festival which has a bunch of unique and interactive handheld lantern items and finally Shichi Gosan which distributes the Chitose Ame, another awesome and unique item. As you'd expect, all of these seasonal items can be purchased throughout the fall from the Nook Stop. Pop quiz, if you're not subscribed yet, how come? Generally curious, let me know. Number 4 Weather Phenomena Now autumn experiences a variety of weather patterns and types from September through to November. Most notably the start of September sees some of the heaviest and most frequent rainfall. As we progress through autumn the chances of rainfall decreases until the final two weeks of autumn where there is 0% chance of rain or thunderstorms. The good news is the further into the autumn we get we have a higher chance of experiencing super heavy fog and river fog that continues from the end of September and through the winter. Sadly the autumn season is the last chance to see rainbows and double rainbows though. We also say goodbye to cumulonimbus clouds in the first few weeks have they are replaced by cirrus and cirrocumulus clouds for the rest of the season. Number 5 DOIs and Recipes Now as you'd expect with a new season, a new selection of seasonal materials and their corresponding recipes can be encountered around the New Horizons Island. The first are acorns and pine cones from September 1st through to December 10th. These can be used to craft the trees bounty recipes which are also found during this time. The second are mushrooms which begin spawning around trees and underground throughout the month of November. These are not only used to craft the mushrooms recipes but can also be used in a variety of cooking dishes. The third crafting material we can find during the autumn season is of course the maple leaf. These are only around for two weeks from November 16th through to November 25th. Again these are used to craft the maple leaf recipes which are found during this time but also required for some of the trees bounty recipes too I believe. All of the DIY recipes for these items are primarily found from bloom presents but can be obtained from villages and even capping islands. 
Number six, tawnies. Now, if you're not a fan of crafting and you prefer activities, you'll be pleased to know we have a bug off and a fishing tawny to look forward to. The final bug off of 2022, for the Northern Hemisphere at least, takes place on September 24th. As always, Flick will stop by to host the tawny and challenge players to catch as many bugs as possible within the time limit. This is a great opportunity to earn bug off themed prizes, including the likes of the artisanal bug cage, the bug cage bag, and the ladybug rug amongst others. The fishing tawny is of course the autumn fishing tawny here in the northern hemisphere. Again CJ will stop by to host the tawny and challenge you to catch as many fish as you can. The more fish you catch the more points you earn and the more prizes you can obtain including the fish print, the fresh cooler and of course the tackle bag amongst many others. Now even if you've taken part in either of these tawnies in the past it's a great opportunity to get one of three types of trophies for each tawny and for the completionists out there a chance to obtain a different trophy than you did last time. Number 7 Nature Now something that's always exciting to see when a new season begins is the changes to the nature around the island, such as trees and grass colours. But another notable change the autumn sees is to the weeds around the New Horizons island. They become taller, flower more and are much more bushier than other seasons. They really give off autumn vibes and are great for decorating farm core islands. Furthermore, this quarter actually accounts for over half of the bushes that bloom around the New Horizons Island too. Both pink and white plumeria and red and yellow hibiscus bushes that are currently in bloom stop flowering September 20th. This makes room for orange and yellow tea olives that will bloom from September 21st through to October 31st. The final month of autumn also sees holly bushes flower as the island scenery begins transitioning into winter. Number 8, Fall Critters. Now as with every new month or new season, on the New Horizons Island we experience a huge shift in the bugs, fish and deep sea creatures that can be encountered around the New Horizons Island. There are far too many to highlight right now, but there are a handful of creatures that are exclusive to the autumn and only appear for a short time during this season. The salmon and king salmon are exclusive to autumn and can be caught in September at the mouths of rivers. Interestingly, new players may struggle to catch the king salmon as it's locked until 20 other fish have been caught. The monarch butterfly, the cricket, the bell cricket and the red dragonfly are the bugs exclusive to autumn. Unlike the fish, these are all very common. The toughest to find is probably the red dragonfly, but only if you don't have many rivers or ponds on your island, as they can be found flying near them during the day. There are no deep sea creatures exclusive to the autumn, but several new creatures can be encountered every single month throughout the season. So there we have it, that was 8 fairly significant changes and updates that we can experience around the New Horizons Island throughout the autumn season. But what are you most looking forward to? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course, if you made it to the end of the video, be sure to comment Maple just to let me know you did. Thank you once again to the patrons and channel members for supporting this channel. I'll see you in the next one.